Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the Atom Stack A5 M50 Pro. Friends, it's time to set it up with Lightburn and do our first cuts. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody. So I've got the PC powered on. I'm going to plug in the USB adapter. Let's power on the laser. Click on devices. And we want to choose Find My Laser. Make sure it's connected via USB, of course. We're going to hit Next. And let it do its searching and see if it can find the A5. Bingo. It is called an eye laser. It's 410 by 400. We are going to add the device just like that. I'm going to change the name to Atom Stack and A5. And then click Next. Origin is going to be front left. And I'm going to tell it OK. And OK. Now let's switch to the Atom Stack. Notice it switched to COM8. And boom, we're ready to start playing. Alrighty, friends, so we're going to change this one up just a little. I had a user on YouTube say, hey, would you cut a ghost with your laser? So, friends, this is Tinkercad, and I have made this silly little scribble ghost with cutout eyes, and we are going to cut this in some cardboard. Now, the first thing we do is select it. I'm not selecting the one that's got the 3D print capabilities, just the laser cut. And then we're going to export, and we're going to export it for laser cutting. This is one of the coolest things about Tinkercad, is you can make laser cut projects in an instant. So I'm going to go to my downloads, Ghost for iPad tutorial, and I'm going to hit save. And now that file is ready to bring into Lightburn. We simply hit file, and we're going to choose import. Once again, I stored it in my downloads, so we'll scooch back up there and grab that. And then there's my ghost iPad file. And bing, it comes in and we can start messing with settings. Alrighty friends, so let's do our first cuts. So I've got my cute little design loaded. I'm gonna switch to my number 10. It's set for a thousand speed, 60 power, and three passes. Let's move over to our design. I'm gonna hold down shift and use the move commands nudge up on my cardboard find an open space on this test design I'm gonna set my origin to be current position bottom left I've got the material set at the right height you can see that slides under easy peasy get that aligned again let's quickly hit frame and make sure it stays on the cardboard pretty good but I think I'm gonna go down one click and friends, time to put on the goggles and let's do our first cut and see if we can make this cute little ghost. All right, that was super fast. Let's do a shift nudge to move it out of there. Take off the safety glasses and just in time for spooky season, friends, we have got an adorable ghost. Now it did not quite cut out. So let's adjust our settings and try one more time. I'm gonna do shift nudge to bring it back. I'm going to do nudge to the right. I think one shift nudge will probably be close. I'm going to come back one, two. Let's hit frame and see how that looks. 
I think that's a decent spot. And let's go back to our cuts and layers. So instead of 60%, I'm going to try 80% for our power. Once again, down in the goggles. Let's hit start and let's see what we made. shift nudge to move it out of the way. Let's see if this time we cut out. We are successful. Not quite perfect, so I'll still keep adjusting my numbers, but you can see that's pretty darn close, and our little ghost is pretty darn awesome. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Project one on the Atom Stack A5 M50 Pro. Friends, super simple to assemble, super simple to connect the light burn. Our design came out like we expect. Friends, just like any laser or any material, you do have some trial and error as you figure out just what settings work best. And if you want more information about Atom Stack, there will be links down below. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.